state of the art. All right, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Triple Six, coming at you with another comic book haul video. So we're just going to get right on into this, man. I uh, hope everybody's well. Uh, I thought I would start this haul video off with uh, showing a uh, couple of books that uh, I've been reading. Uh, first, we've got... This is Nemesis Reloaded. I think I got number one packed up somewhere. I read this a while ago, but uh, I read number one a while ago. And then when I finally got the rest of the issues, I uh, started reading those. But uh, I've really enjoyed this, man. This uh, Mark Millar, uh, Jorge Jimenez, the artwork. Uh, I didn't read the first run, so I really didn't know anything about this character. But uh, I'll tell you what, I really enjoyed this art. Man, he's uh, <laughs> this dude is extremely dark. Uh, it's definitely a good read. Anyway, like I said, uh, this is number three, number four, issue five. Another one that uh, another title that I enjoyed. Another indie is the Ambassadors. Uh, basically, what this is is uh, this this lady here. She created the ability to create superheroes, and she chose six heroes that she thought were wor worthy of gaining superpowers from around the world. Specifically, she wanted one from an ambassador from different companies, uh, not company, countries to. Uh, represent this team that she was putting together and uh basically when it started out it was her and her husband and some things happened and uh just a good story man uh check it out if it sounds like something you might be interested in but uh i got a couple of the first print the second print this is the third print then we've got uh just cover this is probably cover b Got a couple of those, and then we've got issue two, issue three, issue four, issue five, issue five, probably cover B, and uh, issue six. So I found a couple of these, man. Like I said, I enjoyed this little story arc. Uh, I'm interested to see what they're going to do with it, with it. But the reason why I wanted to show this is because all of the characters, heroes and villains alike, in the Mark Millar verse, they're coming together in this big story, this crossover event, big game. I just read the first issue tonight, and... Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's basically the bad guys <laughs> against the against the good uh, against the good guys, man. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing what he's going to do with this. The other thing that I wanted to show that I that I finished reading. Hang on, let me grab it. 
So for a while now, I've heard a lot of people talk about uh, how great this story was. And uh, I just never read it. I was out at that time. But actually, um, before I even knew it was a comic book, I'd actually saw the animation on, what was it, like Disney XD? And I just, I had no idea at the time when I was watching it, you know, my Saturday morning cartoon thing. <laughs> I had no idea that uh, it was based on a comic book. So when I finally got the chance to get it, uh, my LCS, you know, they went into their warehouse and uh, brought some books back. And uh, they almost had the complete run. So I was able to go online and get the odds and ends that I was missing. But check it out. We got the S Superior Spider-Man. So issue one. Like I said, I got the whole run. It was a nice little read. I enjoyed it. Um, it was a little def. It was definitely different from the animation, but the animation uh, kept a lot of the elements of the book in it. So a lot of the characters I were I was familiar with. This is issue eight. Issue 9, if you're not familiar with this story, in this story, this is where Doc Ock uh, takes over Peter Parker's body and he becomes Spider-Man. And, you know, he's got that ego, so hence the name. He's the superior version of Spider-Man. You know, and it was interesting seeing uh, Dr. Octopus uh, playing the hero role. So, like I said, I really enjoyed this, man. Um it was just a nice little fun read. Uh, the only thing about it, this is issue 13, 14. I definitely left some loose ends that uh, I'm going to need to find out what issues, what books cleans that up uh, so that I can bring this story to an end. We've got issue 17, 18, 19. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. You know, some of these I've picked up uh, before. Just uh, cover buys. You know, you know how it is. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. I guess they're going to reboot the Superior Iron, Man, uh, Superior Spider-Man. So. I'll be interested to see what they're going to do with that story, you know, now that our brother got some background. Issue 31, 32, and 33. So, like I said, uh, these were just a couple of things that I'm reading I'm reading a lot. You know, I like a lot of stuff. I'm into a lot of stuff. Of course, I do a lot of uh, collecting for the cover art. But, you know, a brother did read. <laughs> Quite a bit, actually. So, let's get into this haul. So, what I'm going to be showing tonight is... I wanted to do... Um, before I went to Arizona... I went to another show, so I'm going to show some books that I found at that, and I also want to show some books that I found at Half Price Books, but if I did that, <laughs> I think I'd do some long videos now, man. It would have been about an hour and a half, so I'm like, nah, I got to break this up. But, uh, oh, I wanted to say also, um, well, let me just get into this. Before I get into what I found uh, at this show, I want to show a couple of slabs that I picked up. You know, the market is down. Uh, it's definitely a buyer's market. I remember when you couldn't find this. I was finally able to get America number 12 to complete my run. This this last issue, man, was a hard book to get. But uh, I got this in a CGC 9.6. For less than the price to slab it. 
that's just how things are right now, man. It's crazy. But like I said, I was glad to pick this up. I had wanted it when the market was hot. You couldn't get it. Couldn't get it at a decent price. I naturally uh, wouldn't have minded it in just uh, without the slab. But like I said, to get it in a 9.6 at that cheap of a price, I just couldn't let it go. Oh, and check this out. Something else I picked up. This was just a cover buy. I just liked it. We've got the Infinity Countdown. Oh, by the way, this was America number 12. And this is the Infinity Countdown number one. This came out in 2018. Like I said, this is a, I was able to pick this up in a 9.8. These don't go for anything. Um, I mean, it goes for a little bit, but I didn't spend a lot, man. This was pretty cheap, actually. Um, this is a, is this a Del Auto? Yes, it, yes, it is. We got, no, no, this is Addy Granoff. I just thought this was a beautiful Captain Marvel uh, Virgin variant. Nice. And I think this is a retailer exclusive. Yeah, it is from Unknown Comics. Nice. So let's get into this haul. Uh, like I said, these are some books that I picked up at a local uh, show. So first up, this is just a cover by. Uh, this is Cage number one, I believe. Uh, this is uh, this is art by Tartakovsky. Kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Bruce Tim. I just like the feel of it. But I got number one and number three. Like I said, that kind of looks like Bruce Bruce Tim. This was given to me uh, by a dealer. This was like a little freebie that he threw in. I just thought that was cool of him. Green Lantern number 113, and it was a newsstand. We've got Scar, Son of Hulk, presents the Savage World of Scar, uh, number one. This might be, no, yeah, it's a one-shot, actually. I don't know. I got something for this cover, I guess. I keep picking it up. This is Avengers Arena number 18. Nothing significant about it. I got to stop grabbing this. <laughs> I need to stop. Anyway, we've got Avengers uh, Arena number four. Like that cover. We've got Laura Kinney and Dark Hulk on the cover. Found another one of these. This is that all new uh, Wolverine number one, the legacy number 25. This is that retailer qualifier. Uh, this also is a lenticular. So anytime I run across one of these, these retailer qualifiers, I'm going to grab it because these are kind of kind of hard to find. I ah, can't talk. Kind of hard to find. This was just another Black Panther from the Dark Rain, issue number two. Uh, I needed this from a run. Just a dope uh, Doom and Shuri as the Black Panther cover. Strictly a cover by Ant-Man number four. Obviously, we're homaging that uh, Mommy Vice look. Just another cover by. We've got Star Trek Discovery Successions, number one, the cover B. Some Michael, Mikey Brenham, 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 I think it's Brenham, uh, uh, on the cover. Still picking up these bombshells, uh, more so just uh, covers that I think that I don't have, but this is that DC, DC bombshell, DC comics bombshells number three. Just a cover by for me, earth two, number eight. 
I wish this was the real deal that retailer that retailer summit incentive, but this is that Batman Hush 608 special edition. I think I've shown this before. I'm sure I have just to cover by for me. We've got Batman the new 52. Just a nice cover. We've got Sinestro number 12. We've also got DC Universe Rebirth number seven. And a lot of these that I'm showing right now, these were in the dollar bin, less than a dollar. I picked up two of these. This is a Frank of Villa cover, I believe. Yeah, Frank of Villa. Like I said, I like this cover. Obviously, I bought one when I was in Arizona, but this is that Batman and Robin number 10. I'm sure I've shown this in a haul video before. This is that Wonder Woman number 41, just a dope Brian Bowling cover. Of course, we got some Jenny Frizen. Wonder Woman number 40. Nice. Catwoman cover that I like a lot. Uh, Catwoman number 44, just a beautiful cover. And obviously, I like it. I picked up two. For dollar Catwoman number 43, Jeff DeCall. I thought this was a great cover even when it came out. I think I bought like two or three when they came out. But to be able to pick this up for a dollar fifty cents all day. We've got a dope uncanny X-Force number 25. Nice. Like that. Then still if you saw my last haul video, you know I showed a dope uh, Spider-Man 2099. So we're staying in that same vein. We got number two, issue number two. I also found issue number three. That's a beautiful cover right there, man. That is, that's nice. And of course, a cover by, uh, we've got Sweet Meats, number one. By John Bolton from, what is that, Automatica? Just a cover by, man. I saw this online. I almost bought it, but uh, I was glad to find this, like I said, in the dollar bin. Let me grab my next stack. So hopefully this haul video is going to go by pretty quick. Um quicker than my usual <laughs> like I said I just want to get through these because I got so much stuff to show man um, yeah we've got Tim Sale the solo what issue is this issue number one Check that out. Got a little cover art on the back. Nice. This is written by what? Jeff Lowe, Brian Azzarello. Uh, is this some Darwin Cook art? Darwin Cook or Tim Sale, but uh, just this is probably Tim Sale on the cover. I don't know. I haven't read this, so I don't know. Uh, I didn't. I don't know what hand Darwin Cook had to do in this, unless he did like the interiors. He might have something to do, do with the story. I don't know. Do your research if you like it. But I just thought that was a beautiful cover, a uh, beautiful depiction of Catwoman. I think I've shown this before. This is that Wolverine Origins number five. No, I haven't. This is the Phoenix Comic Con uh, Samurai Comics. Probably exclusive. This is strictly a cover by. I just thought that was interesting. We got Frostbite number one from Vertigo Comics. 
I'm going to pick this up whenever I see it. You guys know I like this cover. This is that green arrow number 41. Is this Ben Oliver? I think so. Don't quote me on it. I think it's Ben Oliver, but do your research. We've got the Mice Templar number four, volume three. Got a little bit of a Bill Sienkiewicz vibe to this, don't we? And speaking of Bill Sienkiewicz, check this out. We've got Gene Roddenberry's Lost Universe, number two. Just a nice cover. I saw this online, too. Almost got it in a lot, but I chose not to get it. Uh, so I'm glad I, did. I'm glad I didn't. I mean, it wasn't a lot, but 50 cents a dollar, that's even better. <laughs> Let me see. We got DC Universe Rebirth, number one, Harley Quinn, another Bill Sienkiewicz. Just uh, love the cover art. Love it. Speaking of beautiful cover art, I was able to get this. This is at Vampirella Year One, the Perillo. This is like a one in 10, 1 in 15. This is issues number 6. This is that, uh, I forget what they call this, uh, this type of image. But, uh, oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Um, like, ultra, it's not like ultraviolet. Yeah, ultraviolet. Uh, I showed, I picked up, I was able to pick up a couple of the regular covers, uh, the issue cover A's. But my, my LCS, they didn't have it. Either when I got there, it sold out, or they just didn't get enough to get the ratio. In this economy, they've started to slow down actually a bit. So they're not getting as many retailer uh, incentives, and that's cool. If there's something that I really want, you already know. You know me. I'm going to get it. This is that Poison Ivy number 11. In. I've showed this before. Just a dope cover. This was not a uh, dollar, uh, but it still was less than cover price. That cover price of five dollars. Uh, I think I got this. There was, there's always a discount. Uh, you know, you buy from these guys, they throw a couple of percentage points at you, you know, and uh, give you a little bit of give you a little bit more of a bargain. So, just nice, man. Nice. I didn't buy this when it came out. I didn't even know that this was a Sosa Mica. This is that DC Power uh, a Celebration number one, Black History Month. I had no idea when this came out that it was a Sosa Mica. Um, you guys know that I've been buying her stuff. I didn't know, so I didn't get it. And then when I went back the following week, they were sold out. So I was glad to find this. I'm a fan of the 90s, you know, love the 90s. That was a great time in my life, not just for comic book collecting, but just in general, man, you know. Those were happy times, man, you know. The internet was young, AOL, you've got mail. <laughs> Everybody was positive, man. You know, we believed that we had a future, man. Everybody was looking forward to it, you know. The new everything uh, tech technology was booming, you know. We just thought the skies was the limit, you know. It was the economy was rolling good. We had what Slick Willie, Bill Clinton in office. Life was good, man. Just jobs on every corner, and now here we are, 2023, 2023. You know, pre the coup era. You know, jeez, it's just. <laughs> Everything kind of falls in cycles, player. You know, if you stick around long enough, you'll see some things in your lifetime. But anyway, check this out. This is that Konoichi number one from Lightning Comics. Like I said, just strictly a cover buy. Um, who is this? Is that Jeff Cleary? John? Oh, John Cleary. This was from 1996. Speaking of some more '90s goodness, is that Billy Tucci Angel? Was this Angel Fire? Just a dope cover, man. Just like the cover art. Never seen it before, so you know for the price, I'll take it. Oh man, check this out. This, this, these, these almost hurt hurt my feelings. 
I just can't believe how these how this is falling, man. Uh, when I got back into comics, I started learning about these issues, and you know, some of these were just extremely hard to get. So check this out. This is at Gen Thirteen, uh, number fourteen. This is Frank Cho, just dope. And I found two of those, but the ones that just hurt me to my soul, man. <laughs> hurt her brother to his soul when I saw these in the dollar bin. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. When I got back in, man, this thing was going for like $30 to $50. People were holding these like, you know, like these were just the holy grails or something. I was like. Man, I couldn't find these nowhere. And I got my first one, and I got another one. Then I started finding a few when I was out on the hunt. But this hurt me to my soul, man, to find this in the dollar bin. Check this out. We got Gen 13, number 12, J. Scott Campbell. Man, I used to show guys, I used to see guys showing this. It just, I wanted this so bad, you know. J. Scott Campbell, when I started seeing his stuff, man, I was trying to find any and everything that he did, his cover art, because I thought the dude was just off the chain. And, you know, and then some of his higher ticketed items, you know, brother was just salivating. <laughs> just looking crazy, looking at a haul video and being like, man, how am I going to get that? But this was one of those that I wanted for the long time, just for a long time, and I was happy to get it. And now it's just unfallen, man. And I found not just one. I found one, two, three, four. Four, man. Four of these in the dollar bin. Oh, man. I was like, that's just wrong on so many levels. I'm taking them all. I'm not going to let y'all do this book like that. <laughs> I'm not going to let people uh, rifle through the books, man, and just, you know, pass by this like it ain't shit. Nah, man. Give me this. Unreal. Just a dope book. Maybe one of these days it'll come back around. We'll see. Anyway, Gen 13, number 12. And believe it or not, I'm grabbing my last stack. So before we get in this last stack, I think uh, I'm going to try and do an Ollie's haul in the next couple of days. Maybe get that out by this weekend because, man, I had to... I had to fight not to show some of these books that I've been out here on the hunt for. I'm just so excited with the stuff that I've been into and I've been finding. It took everything I had <laughs> not to show these books tonight, man. But I don't have everything yet. I don't have everything yet. But, oh, man. Comic book haul video. What is this? Number 68. Yeah, number. Oh, man, it's going to be perfect. 69. You know, comic book haul 69, dog. You got to check it out because I got some fire, straight fire in my next haul video. Don't miss it. That's all I'm going to say. Don't miss it. Anyway. Well, it's gonna be some fire. It's fire to me. I've been excited about this stuff. I've been I've been doing so much research, man. Just digging, going on the hunt. Blood's been pumping. Brother's been happy. I love it. Love the hunt. Love the research. But anyway, let me get back into this. Check out my next haul video. Don't miss it. So I was glad to see this. I saw some people showing this a long time ago, and I just never ran into it. This is the amazing Ricochet number one. So I didn't know anything about this story, but I believe this is Peter Parker. And for a short time, he had to stop being the Spider-Man and he took on this identity. So, yeah, I was glad to finally run into this. Just a nice little pickup. 
<sighs> I've shown these enough. I'm not picking up any more of these. <laughs> At week 52, this was before I went to Arizona. And, you know, I found a couple of these. I talked about this before, so I'm not even saying nothing. I got week 52, uh, 52 week eight. Number uh, well, uh, 52 week number eight, and then I also have this booster gold number 10. Like I said, you can just find these anywhere. I keep finding these. This is that divergence, it's number one. Uh, first appearance of uh, the dark side's daughter, it's her name Grail, or well, do your research anyway. I've shown this a million times, I've shown this before. We've got the Avengers, uh, Avengers AI number one. We got the first appearance, I believe, of this character here. So I knew there was a first appearance in this. I found it before. I've showed it before. This is the first appearance of, is it armor? Yeah, first appearance of armor. Right. Yeah, I believe so. First appearance of what this came out in 2005. But yeah, like I said, first appearance of armor. Found two copies of that. Shown this before. I think this is one uh, T'Challa's son and the other little young Avengers are named. Shown this before. This is that Tear Titans number three. This is the first appearance of Virgil, uh, Static Shock, I believe, in the DC continuity. First appearance of the new, the new Aqualad, uh, Beyond Brightest, Brightest Day number 10. I just like that cover. So um, that's the main reason I keep buying this. This is just a dope cover, man. It really is. And then we've got City of Bane, number 78. So when this got hot, uh, you know, I like to try and find things. Like I said, it gives me a reason to hunt. But they dried up quick. And I actually remember seeing these in the long boxes and just overlooked it. So I was like, well, I guess I'll just have to wait, to, wait for it to come back around. But nope. Found these in the dollar bin, man. This is that Terrifics number one. You know, there's rumors James Gunn. Well, we know that this character is showing up, Mr. Terrific. Uh, his first first appearance is in that the Spirit or the Spectre number, what is it, 40? Anyway, do your research. That book is blowing up. But this book is also catching a little bit of heat. So I found two of these. Just a nice little pickup. Nothing to lose your mind over. You know, these are out there. They're everywhere. Like I said, even when the news hit and these dried up, I still, when I went to that show, still found two of these in the dollar bin. So, you know, they're out there. No big deal. Also, was able to get this Season of the Witch. This was not in the dollar bin. Uh, this is number one. Also got Season of the Witch. Issue number four, but I went on ahead and grabbed these because I found another one of these. I don't think this is hot anymore, but it had its moment. This is that season of the witch number two, that Darwin Cook, probably uh, low printed. And... Speaking of Darwin Cook, I found a nice little run with him. Um, we've got these uh, sideways, or we'll call it landscape uh, covers. We've got Superman, uh, issue number 37, Darwin Cook. And I found a few of these. I also found Grayson, number five. Just nice. Well, let me take that. looks terrible. There we go. Uh, Grayson, number five. 
um, Justice League United, number seven. Some Teen Titans, number five. Green Lantern Corpse, number 37. And some Batgirl, issue number 37. Nice. I said, nice little Darwin Cook run. I'm not really a fan of the landscaped cover, but, you know, when you got a great artist, you got some nice little images, picking them up for a dollar. Get them. Why not? There's another book that's fallen. This is the Avengers Academy, number one. This is no longer hot, so I was able to get that. Probably a little less. We've got Blue Beetle number three. Is this the first appearance of the Reach? Hang on, let me look right quick. Uh, like I said, yeah, Blue Beetle. Issue three. What is this? Uh, of course, it wants to show that infinite crisis because that's hot right now. So this is this came out in 2006. No, this is where we get the new Peacemaker. I thought there was like another first appearance of like the Black Beetle or something. Something other than the first appearance of the new Peacemaker. I can't remember. I can't remember. And... Uh, this isn't showing me anything at the moment. And like I said, I'm not going to dwell on this too long because I want to keep this moving. Uh, uh, this is the first appearance of the new Peacemaker. That's what uh, everybody is putting on there uh, when they're showing the book. So, okay. That's what we'll go with. So I found two of these. Uh, nice little pickup. Oh, check this out. When I pulled this out the box, uh, I guess I was looking pretty happy because the guy that was there, he was like, oh, you like that? I was like, man, yeah, I've been out here for a minute and I'd never run into any haunt books in the in the long boxes. Uh, just I never see them. So, yeah, I was surprised to see this. This is haunt number two. He's like, hang on, hang on. And he goes under the table and he starts digging. So I keep on digging. He's like, well, if you like that, you want this too? Bam! <laughs> Hot number one. I was like, are you kidding? Yeah, give me that. So, yeah, finally got me a Hot number one and a Hot number two. Todd McFarlane. Look at that. Nice. Nice. Then we got that uh, cover by Catwoman number 82. This was brought into everybody's consciousness. I uh, got hot for whatever reason. I just think it was, uh, I just think because it's probably just a sick image. I think that's, is that Harley Quinn back there? Anyway, just a nice little fun. We've got the Spectre, number one from 1992. Just a dope cover, man. So I had to get this. I think this, this is written by John Ostrander and Tom Mandrake. Just a nice little pickup. Speaking of nice, I finally found this. You know, this is finally showing itself again. It had its moment. I never got this, never found this, never bought it online, never pulled the trigger. I just always felt that I would find it. And when I forgot about it, didn't even think about it anymore, it just shows up. That's kind of how it works. We've got Jupiter's Legacy, issue number one. Nice. And, uh, of course, you know, this was back when I was reading them back in the day. It was great storylines. Uh, but... This is, to me, this has the potential to be another iconic Wolverine cover. Just beautiful. We've got Wolverine number 17. Just, ah, just the good old days, man. But look at that cover. 
Wolverine getting ready to go ham on this red cover. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, and check this out. This was a nice little pickup. Don't worry about the price. You know, I got this at a great deal. I got this for a great deal, but I was glad to be able to get this. I want to read this. I will be reading this. Uh, this is Star Wars Dawn of the Jedi. Issue number zero. Nice. Look at that. That's a beautiful book. Nice. Also got, check it out. We've got Richard Dragon, the sensational issue number one. Kung Fu Fighter. And, uh, you know, the guy that I bought these from, I picked up a couple of them. So, of course, he gave me that discount. And uh, I definitely want to make, make sure I got that discounted price because not only did he have uh, issue number one, but he also had this. Been looking for this for a minute. This is that Kung Fu Fighter number five, the first appearance of Lady Shiva. Nice. Got that Nat Mylar. Just a beautiful book. Beautiful book. Yeah, let me go ahead and move that. And just uh, another great book, just a beautiful cover. I've been looking at these online. Never really saw one that I liked for the price because usually the covers are pretty beat up if, if you want to get it for a decent price. I mean, they're just the ones that I was looking at, they just didn't look that great. And if you wanted anything in, the, in halfway decent shape, online, you're going to pay a little bit. So I was glad when I found this and uh, – I was able to get it knocked down a little bit. Check it out. We've got Strange Adventures number 207. Featuring the Dead Man. Just uh, a beautiful um, Neil Adams. Yeah, a beautiful Neil Adams book. Just... Uh, Dope. Dope. This came out in 1967. So, you know, I'm glad I waited, held out, and like I said, I was able to find this at that, at that show. So the last book that I'm going to show, um, you just never know what you're going to find, man. And uh, dude sold me this just for a spe spectacular price, you know, when I was looking at it. It has a little bit of water damage. Uh, there's one of the staples is is rusted, not over really bad, but it it, it does have some rusty staples. But I, for the price, man, I, I couldn't leave it. Um, would you have Would you have left this? Check it out. We've got Wonder Woman issue number two oh four first appearance. Of Nubia. Nice. Nice. Like I said, you can see there was some water damage. Uh, it needs a press. But actually, if, if I wanted to spend some time, I think I could wash that out and clean it up and get it to where it looks pretty good. Because you know what's you know what's funny about this? When I got it, I looked at it at the at the show because if it was really bad on the inside, I was just gonna leave a but I open this thing up, and it's just on the cover. Inside, the pages are incredibly well taken care of. Just white pages. I was shocked. You hear me? I was shocked. And, you know, dude, this, he ended up selling this to me because he's like, well, you know, it's got a lot of damage. This and you know, water damage. You know, I was like, well, will you take, I think it was, I think I got him at $25 or $30, man. Would you have bought this for that price? Look at this. Let me bring it a little closer. This way you can, see, you can see it needs a press. You can see some things going on here. But some of this stuff, like I said, I've watched some guys do some uh, cleaning with book cleaning with books that have been 
that have received water's damage and they've done some phenomenal things but man i'm telling you, even even as it is you know this is still just a dope book so yeah there you go like i said it this probably let me see how much time this take oh my god no <laughs> I was gonna go through this pretty fast. It didn't happen. Oh my god. I tried. <laughs> I really did. I thought I was going, I thought I was doing all right. Man. Wow. Well, that's how it goes. But you guys know how I am. You know, you've been with me, you rock with me. You know, it's all good. You enjoy the content, so it's all good. You guys are definitely getting your you're getting entertained. Brother showing you some stuff. So, like I said, man, this was the last book that I wanted to show. You know, nothing major. I just wanted to show some stuff that I found in this show. Um, like I said, I wanted to include that uh, stuff that I found. I found some dope books at half price at half price books. But uh, we'll just include that maybe in with that, man. My the next haul, man. All I can say is you gotta check it out. Um, <laughs> you gotta check it out. I just, it's just, ah, I'm going to leave it alone. Anyway, you already know, brother, appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out. So let me get on up out of here. And with that, you know what time it is. This is your boy, Triple Six. Until next time, I'm out.